I made my own bidet. Introducing Swipe. I worked with the best factory in South Korea for over a year to make my dream come to life to create my own bidet. And if you haven't tried a bidet before, consider this your wake up call. It's time to join the rest of society. Don't make going to the bathroom a chore, make it an experience. <sighs> <laughs> You may know of a small streamer on YouTube who goes by the name of Ludwig, but what you may not know is that he recently started his own bidet company. So naturally, I decided to purchase one of these bidets for myself and find out whether it is actually a life-changing piece of bathroom technology or if it's just a swipe and a miss. For those of you who may not know what a bidet is, a modern bidet at its base level is a toilet attachment with a nozzle that sprays water up your keister to help clean it better. But on the high end, bidets can have heated toilet seats, remote controls, music, and even heated washing and drying. Bidets are most commonly found in Asian and European countries with other major YouTubers such as Sea Dog VA being very outspoken about how life-changing they can be. Even if you only have $100 to your name, Right, you can get a bidet for a hundred dollars. Get get a bidet. All right, so now that we got the uh, pieces ready to go, I'm gonna go hook it up to my toilet, see how it works. On October 15th, Ludwig announced that he had secretly been making his own bidet for the past year called Swipe, saying that it was, quote, the greatest bidet ever crafted by man. And that if you've never used a bidet before, consider this your wake up call. Basically what you have to do is to drain your toilet by like, like flushing it down, empty all the water that's in there. And then you have to connect the valve to where like the water supply comes in, uh, remove the toilet seat, and then put the actual bidet where the toilet seat goes and then reattach the toilet seat with the screwdriver. So there are two choices on Ludwig's site, the swipe and the swipe plus. The swipe is the base bidet, which costs $50 and includes the attachable water nozzle that goes underneath your toilet seat. The swipe plus, which costs $500, completely replaces the toilet seat altogether and includes an automatic deodorizer, adjustable water pressure and temperature, a heated seat, and a warm air dryer. Since I don't have the budget of Ludwig, I got the $50 swipe model. Well, more accurately, my girlfriend bought it for me because I'm a broke YouTuber. But two months later, it finally came in the mail. Step one, pretty simple, turn off the water. It's, there's our water. Now that the water's turned off, we're gonna go ahead and uh, flush the toilet and let it, all the water inside of it drain. Don't hear any more water coming out of it, so I think we're in the clear. So the next step is going to be removing the uh, toilet seat and also connecting the uh, valve stem uh, for the bidet. Now, I've actually never used a bidet before, so this was my first experience with one. Whew, okay. I've never actually had to take off a toilet seat before. I, I live in an apartment, so I normally just move from apartment to apartment. I've never had to replace or fix a toilet seat. So I've had one hell of a time trying to figure out how to actually remove mine. Because in the instructions, it just says loosen up, you know, the toilet seat with a screwdriver and then, you know, take it off, replace it. But my toilet, like I, I couldn't find any screws. And let me show you what I mean by that. Basically it has these like little white, like nubs in the back where like most people's screws are. And so after a lot of uh, YouTube videos watching how to remove one, I figured out that these actually pop up to reveal the actual like screws. So let me show you what I mean. Boom, boom. So we're gonna go ahead and get those unscrewed so we can remove the toilet seat. So uh, <laughs> the valve is connected. It was a little bit more difficult than I anticipated, uh, not because of the bidet, but my like water connection to my toilet was like on there real tight. So I, I did get it off. It just took a bit of manpower to get it unscrewed. And there was a little bit of water that was still left in the hose. Um, so just be aware if a little leaks out that, you know, it's, it, it happened to me. <laughs> but we did get it connected. The piece screwed on really easily after we got the original piece off. So next is the actual just bidet piece itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that attached. Oh, jeez. All right, so it is 
officially installed. Uh, we got it on there, got the screws connected, the seats back on, and the water is uh, connected to the actual bidet. It looks pretty seamless. Obviously, you got the controls there, but aside from that, you don't really notice the pieces in the back. On top of it all, I learned a very uh, interesting lesson today, how to take off a toilet seat cover. I'm not gonna show anything, but I'm ready to test it out like the bidet for the first time. And keep in mind, this is my first time ever using a bidet, period. So let's, let's, let's see. All right. So let's start with the rear. Oh, fuck, oh shit, what the fuck? Okay, okay, it works, it works. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, hold on. Oh. <laughs> It just shoots water straight up there. I mean, I knew that's what it does, but like it's a weird feeling when it happens for the first time. Okay, what's the... F it says it watches the front. I guess this is more for like geared towards women. Let me... I still try it though, you know? Oh, 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 okay. It's more... Yeah, yeah. I think that's also for... I think it like could work for men and women, but I think the rear is primarily for like dose and then the front is primarily for like uno for women. I do feel like cleaner under there. You're a you're a previous uh, bidet user, so you know. A little bit, okay. Whichever way you twist it, that'll spray the front, that'll spray the back. Okay. okay. Wait, I'm, not, I'm kind of nervous. Oh! There you go. <laughs> yeah, I what know the it's, fuck? it's jarring. Oh, oh, it's Oh! <laughs> it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty impressive for yeah, $50. For $50, yeah. It's nice. Good job, Ludwig. Okay, so I've been using the swipe for about one week now, and uh, you're probably wondering, uh, was it life-changing? Was it a waste of money? What, what are my thoughts on it? And I can honestly say that I think it has changed my life. So every time I've taken a dump this week, I have used the bidet afterwards to help with cleanup. And at first it's it's definitely jarring. It, it does take some getting used to. So the first couple times I used it, I definitely jumped uh, in shock from the water, uh, but it did leave me feeling more clean and refreshed afterwards. And anytime I've used a toilet without my bidet this past week, uh, it just feels like regular toilet paper just doesn't get the job done on its own anymore. And I can definitely say that the $50 model is worth the money. And even though it might be a little difficult to get attached to your toilet at first, once you do get it on there, it's uh, it's definitely a game changer. Ludwig, if you are watching this, uh, it's because I use the strategies that you used in your I made a new YouTube channel to prove it's not luck video. And I just wanted to say, I hope you're happy with the fact that you officially converted me into a bidet believer. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.